Well, I've got something to tell you guys. You're going to Japan. Six months ago, my roommate and I submitted an application for the Ski.com dream job for a chance to ski some of the best powder in the world. Japan! And what do you know? They chose us, a lucky duo, and we were flown halfway around the globe to the powder snow mecca of the world, Japan. First, we grabbed some coins and explored the sea of arcades hidden in Sapporo. Next, Ramen Alley. The very same place where miso ramen was invented, trying our first bowl of real ramen noodles. Everywhere we looked was humming with energy and life, but our adventure led us west to the mountains of Naseko. Our guide found us before we found him. Rob Forbes, the Australian-born expat, who has learned to thrive in this landscape for over a decade, mapping out every inch and aspect of skiable terrain. We were in good hands. Upon arrival to Naseko, we quickly learned that this winter snowfall was mounting to be the worst this country had seen in 50 years. This was funny to us because we were still skiing untouched lines every run we took. The skiing was still incredible. <laughs> and at the end of each day, we were taking some of Naseko's hidden gems. truly felt like a dream job. Throughout the week, we overheard that people come for the powder, but they stay for the Sapporo Classics. We can confirm this. As we got acquainted with the culture, stories of legendary winters kept emerging from the hearts and minds of the locals. How the sun would stay hidden for months on end, with storm systems dumping a foot of snow with each day that came. This winter was a bit different, but our guide informed us that a new low pressure system was moving in. And maybe, just maybe, we could finally see the Naseko we've dreamed about. That night, the sun faded into the clouds, just like the stories, and a steady storm front rolled in, bringing with it the reason we came, powder. It is dumping powder right now. I'd never seen anything like it. As our time in Japan drew to a close, we began to realize that this trip was never actually about the powder. It wasn't even really about skiing. It was about experiencing something completely new. The rich culture and history that this country holds. The amazing food. The incredible people, always with a smile on their face carrying the torch of generations of ancestry. 
It was about experiencing something for the first time. Approaching with no expectations and walking away with new friends, <laughs> new memories, and a new love for the horror classics. Can't put a sticker over a sticker, it's bad form. I just wanted to laugh! <laughs> and some of the best lines of our entire lives. Thank you.